Good afternoon, YouTube. We are here on a beautiful afternoon. We got all the toys, and we're about to take down that big tulip over the chicken coop. We got the uh, 83 foot pro over here. That's gonna be my man lift. I got my brother-in-law, Steve, on the tractor, moving the chipper into position. We are going to try our best and put the chipper back behind the fence, kind of throw things over. That way it doesn't make a huge mess, but messes are to be expected when you're doing tree work. like a total bomb went off back here my brother-in-law did a pretty good job keeping the woods cleaned up as the tree was coming down we got it all brushed out but it got to a point where I couldn't reach anymore uh, that lift is 83 foot tall and I probably had another 20 foot above me that we need to lower down even though I was directly underneath it so this tree was significantly taller and wider than I was expecting it uh, but we got it all down. All this is wood that I'm going to have to drag out with the tractor. I'm going to have to pull this over with a redirect and the tractor. Sarah's going to come out and help me later with that. And, uh, while I got the chipper here and Sarah's doing her thing, uh, 
I'm going to take the chipper and finish chipping up the rest of all this brush. Really bit off more than I could chew yesterday afternoon, but that's also to be expected with a cheesecake project. So that was a 52cc wild badger trimmer. Uh, I had the brush cutter head on it and it did a pretty good job. I needed to blaze this trail because there was a lot of uh, like brambles, raspberries, pricker bushes, whatever you want to call them. But I needed to run this redirect up to this little maple here. That way we could drop that tulip spar from yesterday. Uh, the badger did pretty good. It cut all the little stuff as expected. And uh, we actually got it to cut a pretty good sized piece, I would say. This is about an inch, maybe inch and a half. And I uh, walked right through it. Granted, I wasn't going full throttle or anything. Uh, it has quite the vibration. But uh, it, it did a, a pretty good job. Did exactly what I needed it to do, that's for sure. Okay, so the plan here is we're going to drop this tulip stem. I uh, have a rope up in the top, going out to that little maple in the back, close to the ground, that way it's got a good anchor point, and the rope doubles back from there over to behind the chicken coop attached to the tractor. My fiance is going to give me a hand by driving the tractor as I make the back cut. Uh, so here we go. As we say, every hinge tells a story. This one says, I really screwed up. 
eh, maybe not too bad, but the hinge was definitely cut through more on this side. This I completely missed. So that was all good holding wood, but this like half inch worth of hinge got cut through here. And then I had just a tiny little bit here. So the tree was going to pull this way, which is good because a lot of it was pulling that way originally. Uh, but I felt the, the hinge completely give way over here. It pinched the saw. That was when I told Sarah to, to really step on it and give it a yank. And uh, the tree fell kind of where I wanted it. I was doing my best to avoid that little maple, but I did cream that pretty good. Uh, but it's still standing and everything looks all right. Wasn't able to show you from up top, but the first storm that we had around here, this back leader ripped out and I was worried that one half was of the standing part was going to rip towards the house. The other one was gonna crush the chicken coop. And my assumptions were potentially right because this was a big crack that was getting ready to give way. And Tulip is notoriously soft wood, uh, very brittle as far as hardwoods go. Uh, so I'm happy this is down. My chicken coop is safe. And uh, now we get to flush the stump and start doing some grinding. Tree's down, stump is ground, nobody's hurt, chicken coop is standing. That was a win in my book. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click that subscribe button down below. Any questions, comments, feedback, hit me with your best shot. I love taking all the advice. My name is Chris, this is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.